hey guys welcome back to our channel today i have another braided hairstyle for you guys i have the maverick lock 24 inches by janet collection and i've been waiting so long to review this i'm so happy that we have it in stock now so i can finally do it but i have her in the color oet 1b 30 if you guys want to see how i achieve this look continue watching so I have the Janet Collection Maverick Locks, 24 inches in the color OET 1B30 and I absolutely love this color. Um, the locks is really really pretty I love the way the texture is and I'll get into that in a little bit but guys I got six packs and there's 10 lock in each pack so basically there's 60 locks in total I ended up using only 57 I believe because I had three remaining but yeah um, it was pretty good I think it was thick enough it was heavy not heavy but it was full enough for me so I can deal with that now the texture of the lock I really really love it now it looks like a twist and it looks like a lock and then at the ends you have like some curls at the ends so it's really different I like the fact that it has some fuzz to it so it has some character to it it's not too neat I absolutely love this lock it's different from anything I've tried before or anything I've seen before because you normally would get like a twist or you would get a lock this one is like you know two in one so i was really excited about this it really excited to try it and i decided to do the individual lock for this well the individual crochet method for this look because i just think it's a little bit more versatile and it just makes it look like you actually sat there and locked your hair <laughs> one by one so of course you're gonna need your crochet hook for this style and i went ahead i parted my hair into three because I actually wanted to make sure that I had enough braids because I knew how many packs I had so I knew how many braids I have well how many locks I had which was 60 so I wanted to make sure that I didn't go over or too much under so I parted my hair into three and then I started like braiding and stuff like that but make sure to moisturize your hair as usual <laughs> I always tell you guys moisturize your hair I use the IC by Fantasia that grease to moisturize my scalp normally I wouldn't use that but that's all I had right now so I had to use it and I also used my favorite oil it's an oil treatment by soft and free and I will link everything that I use in the description box down below as usual so make sure to check the description box if you're interested in anything that I've used in this video or any other video that I post everything is always in the description box but anyway I moisturized my scalp and I went ahead and just braided it up because like I said I did the individual crochet method so of course you have to braid your hair up into individual um, twists and I think this is like the hardest part of getting this hairstyle done the hardest and the longest part everything else was pretty quick and pretty easy And you guys might be wondering why I parted my hair so well and that's because I didn't really want a neat look. I wanted when I moved the hair that it looks kind of uneven, kind of out of place. That's just how I like to see locks. That's just me. No matter if it's the Maverick lock, if it's like regular locks. I don't care I just like to see it kind of unkept in a sense but of course it doesn't look unkept but it actually just looks like there's no structure to the parting space and that's what I wanted so that's how I did it you can do it however you want it's really up to you so after that I just went ahead and started crocheting I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this crochet method you basically take the crochet hook put it in well in the base of your braid of one braid and you hook the hair or the lock the loop of it because it is pre-looped crochet here so you hook the loop into the crochet hook you pull it through you take the ends of the hair and you pull it through that loop as well so you just make sure you have that loop secured there and once you have that down you're gonna take your hair and you're going to actually take the crochet hook basically I'm trying I'm trying you guys bear with me you're gonna take the crochet hook push it down the length of the lock itself or should I say down the center of the lock and you're gonna go all the way to the base of the lock and you're gonna pull your natural hair through with that hook so you're gonna pull that through once you pull it through 
it will actually hide between the lock itself so you can do it in two parts you can do it in one part I mean however it works for you just do it but make sure that your natural hair is hidden between the locks itself okay so then it comes out as if you actually sat there and locked your hair you understand what I'm saying I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm saying but anyway if I'm not explaining this well then there's a dozen <laughs> reviews on YouTube that can show you guys how to individually crochet but if you are a visual learner or if you already know how to crochet just sit back relax and enjoy the the whole process okay <laughs> So since this is a time lapse, some things that you should remember is that this is the Janet Collection Maverick Lock in 24 inches. It comes in 18 inches as well, so if you're not really into the long hair, you can definitely get it a little bit shorter. Although 18 inches is not that much shorter, but it's, it is shorter, okay? so And this is from their Nala Trust line. Really, really pretty. I will definitely recommend this. Um, after I finish putting it on and everything, I can definitely say that it's very lightweight. Um, it's a little bit itchy, not on your scalp, but probably on your skin. If you're going to be having your skin out, then yeah, <laughs> it might be a little bit itchy on your skin. But not too much, not itchy to the point where you're actually itching. It's just a little bit rough because of the texture. So keep that in mind. Um, also, it is... 100% hand tied sorry each strand is 100% hand tied which is amazing okay that's very interesting but I'll make sure to leave all the colors that it comes in in the description box down below because it comes in so many other colors you guys can go purchase it and like I said everything that I use I will be linking it in the description box down below as well I want you guys to comment and let me know how you feel about this lock the Maverick lock if you've tried it before if you've seen it before if you've been trying to order it because it's constantly been out of stock but we finally have it in so hopefully by the time this video goes up you guys have a lot to to choose from still because hopefully you know it's still in stock but anyway guys um after I was done I just laid my edges and that was it like the hairstyle was over it literally took me less than no time to finish this I did not time myself so I don't know exactly how long I took to do this but I know it didn't take a long time at all so yeah So overall I think that it's a very pretty style, it's a very pretty color as well, the OET 1B30, I think it complements my skin tone. I'm so happy that I got it in this color and also guys keep in mind that I only used 6 packs okay and each pack comes with 10 so in total I used 57 so I had like 57 plaids. I was kind of scared at first that I didn't have enough but once I was done it was totally worth it like it was enough okay I don't need any more <laughs> no more than 60 although I didn't use the full 60 but I, you don't need any more I mean you could if you prefer your hair a little bit fuller a little bit thicker I mean it depends on the size of your head as well so make sure you choose wisely but anyway this is it comment down below let me know what you think about the hair like I said everything that you need will be in the description box down below 
and I'll see you guys pretty soon. I have the giveaway announcement video coming up next. Stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!